Hey, what's happening? It's K-Mac. Today we're in one of the remotest locations in the United States, Sicily, Alaska. And this got me thinking about how do you manage your Terraform states? You see, without having some sort of remote backend, you can run into issues around Terraform state file corruption and consistency, especially as you scale usage. And so today I'll show you how to manage your Terraform state using M0's remote backend. Okay, so here we are in the M0 dashboard. We're gonna create a new environment, a new run of Terraform. Um, in this case, we're gonna create an, an S3 bucket hosting a simple static website. Uh, you can review the code and see that that simply points to the GitHub where your Terraform modules are contained. And we're gonna go ahead and hit run now. And the only change that you need to do to utilize M0's remote backend is to click this checkbox. And at that point, M0 will essentially magically take care of maintaining, managing, configuring your state for you. Uh, you do need to specify a unique workspace name for your organization. So let's name this KMAC Demo M03 Remote Backend. As this deployment is running, you'll see that there's a new tab under your environment dashboard that says states. You can see the state file here. You can download the state file. Um, you can check that deployment log for that specific state file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, a scenario where there's already some multiple states. So you can inspect and specify each of the state files that have been created based on your Terraform applies and runs. And that's how you manage Terraform remote states using a remote backend in end zero. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do what people in remote locations do and head over to the brick. Until next time, came back out.